Hello everyone, welcome back to the IAS in depth YouTube channel where we bring you comprehensive analysis and summaries on the latest developments in the current national and international arena. Today we are diving deep into the recommendations of 52nd GST Council meeting or Goods and Services Tax Council meeting. So let's begin. First of all, Appointments at the GST Appellate Tribunals So the council has put forth recommended changes concerning the eligibility and age conditions for the appointment of the president as well as the members of the tribunal. Now let's talk about the GST rate amendments for food preparations of millet flow. The GST is set at 0% if sold loose but rises to 5% as if, if it is pre-packaged and labelled. Imitations are re-thread or yarn. It's clarified to attract a 5% GST. Extra neutral alcohol known as ENA when used in making alcoholic beverages is now excluded from GST. And if you're wondering about ENA for industrial use, it is now set at uh, an 18% GST. For molasses, GST rate reduced from 28% to just 5%. So there is a sharp drop in the GST rate of uh, molasses. In a bid to promote tourism, there is a new recommendation on the block. Foreign vessels converting to a coastal run can enjoy a conditional IGST exemption but this will be for a limited duration. Next we will talk about adjustments in GST for services. Current exemptions remain intact for services provided to the G central state and UT union territory governments. Water supply, public health and related services to governmental authorities have been exempted. Uh, from 1st January 2022, bus transportation services supplied via e-commerce operators will fall under GST. District Mineral Foundation stressed, this is very important, it was earlier asked in preliminary examination. So, District Mineral Foundations, Trust or DMFTs are now clarified as governmental authorities. And all goods and services provided by Indian Railways will now be taxed under the forward charge mechanism. Trade facilitation measures have also seen some updates. There is a new amnesty scheme for appeal filings against demand orders. Clarifications have been made regarding the taxability of both the personal and corporate guarantees. For provisionally attached properties, there is a new provision for automatic restoration after one year. Clarifications have been issued on the place of supply for some services and on export of services concerning special INR or Vostro accounts. If you are studying economics, you know you have to study about Vostro and Nostro accounts, right? So please note these two terms, Vostro, V-O-S-T-R-O and NOSTRO, N-O-S-T-R-O. Supplies to special economic zone units or developers for authorized operations can now go through the IGST refund route. Lastly, on the legal and procedural front, the CGST Act will align with the Tribunal Reforms Act of 2021 when it comes to GST appellate tribunals. A low amendment regarding IST that is input service distributor has been recommended based on inputs from the 50th GST council meeting. Okay, so these updates give us an insight into the evolving landscape of GST in India. For more in-depth analysis and summaries, stay tuned to our channel and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you all of you. See you next video.